In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send work schedules by email from Excel. I have in front of us, in front of me, um, a simple work schedule, and this is just scheduling the off times for these individuals that work at this company. Now, I'm not going to spend any time on how I develop this automatic schedule. I have many videos relating to this, but once you have your your schedule created, then you would like to send it out to your employees or or management or somebody else what they have to do that month. So what I'm going to do is I go into the second sheet and um, these are all names from the random name generator and I just put their emails at, at company.com um, and so it doesn't these individuals are the people that are on the timesheet but they could be those people as well as few others with management or uh, management of the company there can be any number here and the order does not have to be the same as it is on the on the schedule and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my developer tab I'm going to go to macros and I'm going to run e send schedule and I'm going to run this you can see all these schedules being created and sent in the body of the email to the people on your list so let me explain the code now so here is my macro uh, sub eSend schedule and then I have uh, declared Outlook as an object, email as an object, Excel inspector as an object, page editor as an object, range one and that that is our actual schedule on the, sh the sheet one as range, R and X as integers, E address which is the email address, name as their name as a string and find range as a range. Now so if you look at um, we start, the employees start on um, line five. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from five to 16. And why, why I have done that is I have, um, there's only 14 here, but I have put it to 16 so that it allows the customer to add a couple more people in here. Okay, so name equals sheet one cells are which is the row number um, R1, which is, which is the name here, right? And then we've, we're setting Outlook to create objects, Outlook application, set new email as Outlook create items, set range. And now what I've done is I've, uh, I've defined my range as A2 to AC15, and then I go range copy. I set range and then I set, then I copy. And then now what we're gonna do is we're going to take the name that we have on this list here and we're going to find it um, on sheet two. So I'm setting find range equals sheet two and that's where our email addresses are, column A, and that's where the, the names are. Find what? And so it's looking for this name. Um, it's looking in the formulas, looking at the whole search order by row, search direction, next match case. Okay, so it goes all the way down. Now it's find range. If find range is nothing, then you're gonna, gonna get a message box and saying no e email address found. And then it's gonna go to the ND, which is at the end here, right after the address here. Okay, but if it finds the row number, the row number equals find range row, the row that it finds it on, and then E address equals sheet two, row number two, because the row, uh, the email act addresses are actually in the B column, and then end if, so that, that goes along happily there. Now, with the new email, so the e new email that we're creating, so it sent the e address that we have found here, it's mailing it to that, uh, the carbon copy and the blind carbon copy are blank, the subject is work schedule, the body is just, uh, please find your days off scheduled for the next four weeks, carriage return best regards um, now we're setting x inspector as new email inspector get inspector 
set page editor as X, XL inspector word editor. And then um, on error resume next. And page editor selection start in length of the body because we're putting this, uh, we are putting this uh, schedule in the body of the email. Page editor application selection and page application, page editor application selection start. Page editor application select, paste, and format. And now this is the big, big part here. The word format plain text allows you to take copy the formatting that you have, including the borders and the colors from the Excel document. And then here I have this little, uh, this little kind of escape here. It says if e, e address is nothing, then new mail delete. So that's if the customer hasn't bothered to enter in anybody belong beyond the the 14, then the 15 and 16, it's not going it, to, if there's no email address, then it's just going to delete the message. Okay. Then else it's going to display it. Um, once you're happy with this, you could leave this at send and then it's end if there. Now, um, things, so we're clearing all our fields, set page editor equals nothing, set X inspector equals nothing, and then the end width. Now, once more, we're clearing the whole works after we finished our list, uh, set new email to nothing, set outlook to nothing, next R, next R, and then it'll go on to the next one. In sub, I will, of course, include this in the body of the description of my video. This is how you send the schedule in the body of an email message from Excel. Please subscribe.